Mexico yeah. fan. No, no, actually, I never owned a soccer jersey, so I figured the other day I went to Sports Check and bought a bunch of them just because I never had them before. <laughs> <laughs> well, hey, uh, so here you are, you're you know, back with the Stampeders and uh, going back uh, to the big game like you did. The, you know, what, what do you want to do to make it different than two years ago? Uh, a lot. I want to do a lot different. Um, I actually, I called it before the game. I said I was telling everybody it's 2016 all over again. So uh, I'm excited. Uh, it's not very often you get a chance to play for uh, uh, championships in pro football. So um, for a team to do it three years in a row is, is a big thing. So, uh, But I think, guys, uh, the focus in the locker room is a lot different than, than it was in 16. I think 16, we were just happy to be there. I think now it's more so uh, uh, like it's unfinished business. Like we're, we're, I wasn't happy. Like yesterday, I didn't even go to the trophy ceremony. I, I'm, Western Finals is, is common now here. So. It's more so getting that great cup, so that's that's what I'm focused on. Well, you want a different result, obviously, in 2016. Are you glad you For get sure. another crack at, at Ottawa? Yeah, yeah. I actually am because uh, I know I wasn't here last year. I know a lot of guys was like, oh, you know, talking about last year. But for me, I feel like Ottawa took a great cup for me. So for, for, for me being here in 16 and being a part of it and knowing what it was like, I'm, I'm excited to get another crack at them because I know uh, during the year, I'm pretty sure uh, Ottawa early in the year they thought they were they were the big dogs, and, and I know a lot of the guys on that team, and they're, they're very confident in themselves. So I know it's going to be one of those things where they're going to show up and think they, they're going to be able to uh, to beat us. So I'm, I'm focused on, on locking in, making sure, letting the younger guys know on a team that haven't been a part of this before, haven't been there before, to know like what it's like. It's not it's not all funny games. It's a business trip. What does it say? I mean, yesterday, the third quarter, obviously the offense struggled a little bit as well as early in the fourth. And then there was that one drive where just everything seemed to click and you guys seemed to kind of just get down to business and get the, the touchdown you needed to, to basically win. I mean, what happened there? Uh, I, I think I think uh, I was on the sideline just telling guys, like, it's, it's time to nut up and be men. Like, sometimes I think guys are too focused on thinking somebody else is going to make a play or thinking everything has to be perfect for things to, to work out. And it's more so just you just got to do your job as hard as you can. It, it, it was nothing else to play for. It's not like we we still in a regular season. There's another game to play for. It's more so we playing to go to the Great Cup. So there's no there's no reason to leave anything anything behind. You just leave it all on the field to get a chance to play for one game where you could be a champion and be remembered forever. So I think guys <clears throat> kind of took heed to it and nutted up and we went out there and, and did what we had to do. Okay, you're sort of pretty locked in, but are you going to allow yourself just to enjoy the experience this week and just enjoy you know the fact that. You, know, you are in the big game. You've got all, all the other stuff besides the game. No, no, I don't think so. I think it's a little different this time because we're in Edmonton. In 16, we were in Toronto. So different field, different city. It's a lot more to do in Toronto than there is in Edmonton. So I think it'll be a lot easier to lock in being in Edmonton, especially with the weather probably going to be frigid because everybody knows Edmonton is cold right now. So uh, but I, th I think the focus will, will be a lot different than, than being in Toronto. Do you think Eskimo fans are going to rally behind you, or maybe you signed? Of course not. I don't expect. I don't expect it. Like Dicky said, it. I think everybody in the league that they don't want to see us win, and they're, they're they're we're the big dogs on the block every year, and everybody gets tired of seeing us playing in the big games, so nobody wants to see us be successful. And this is a third crack at winning the Grey Cup, and I think you know. Third time's a charm, so just get it done. Do you use that? Do you use everybody hates us as, as motivation, or you got enough uh, enough else to work with? No, nah, it's, it's not motivation. We just know what it is. Like when it's, it's like in the NFL, everybody hates seeing the Patriots win, but you know every year the Patriots are going to get a chance to play for a Super Bowl. It's kind of the same thing. We are the Patriots of the CFL, so everybody knows that we're going to come out and put a good product on the field, and it's going to be hard to beat us, but no one wants to see us win. So the last few years, everyone got what they wanted. So now it's time to make sure we give them what they don't want.